So we want to take a moment to introduce our interns. We have Carla and Pierce, Dr. Dr. Carla and Dr. Pierce. And so my question, with you being new with us, is what brought you to chiropractic? Why did you decide you wanted to become a chiropractic doctor? Uh, let's start. Go for it. For me, I was always interested in science, and I was always interested, like, growing up, I just wanted to be in a profession where I could help people just have a better life, be happier, um, and and that way be able to make the people around them happier. Um, and one day when I was in undergrad, some different schools went to our school and set up tables and they were just even giving up information about their programs and I saw a, a table from Life University and they gave me information about chiropractic and that really resonated with me. And that day I remember when I got home, I called my sister, my older sister, and she told me, she was like, oh, that's that's very curious because my, my best friend's brother and sister, they both went to that school and they studied chiropractic and they really love it. They, they had already graduated back then and they were doing super amazing, changing men's lives, just, just really changing the world one person at a time. And that got me super excited and I was like, yeah, I'm doing this. That's wonderful. <laughs> what about you, Dr. Pierce? Um, for me, love that story. <laughs> um, for me, it was, I was a very sickly kid, um, had, when I was born, I was diagnosed with, uh, severe, severe eczema, severe joint arthritis, mm -hmm. and, uh, asthma, so I can, you know, I couldn't really keep up with many of the other kids, which frustrated me as a kid. Um, I remember having, my joints were so bad, if I sat down for maybe over an hour, I couldn't stand up straight, if I... Um, you know, if I stood up too long, I couldn't bend down. I remember a, a pediatrician saying in front of, right in front of me, you know, saying like I had the body of an 80 year old, but I had the body of a 10 year old, but you know, but my body functioned like an 80 year old. So it was kind of sad, you know, but, and so many doctors my mom took me to, whether it was, you know, allergists, cause I had a plethora amount of allergies, um, people to help with my joints, asthma, everything like that. but. My mom, who worked in the hospital, got whipped about chiropractic, you know, about a local chiropractor in North Carolina, and my dad was able to take me ever since, you know, I was able to play sports, I was able to be active, you know, I was able to grow, because for three years I did not grow at all. Saved my mama a lot of money, because I didn't grow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but, you know, I was happy to get over five feet, though, believe me. Um, but then, you know, it's crazy, because like Carla, I went to college one day, and at my college, you know, I was at the time I was getting ready to leave my two-year college, and they had, it was just someone just at a booth, you know, no, life a life uh, life college representative. No one was really talking to the person, and I was, you know, kind of up in ping pong. I was like, you know, I'm gonna go talk to him, see what's up, because I was in my mind, I was thinking, like, what do I want to do with my life? Do I want to be whatever? Or do I want to, you know, figure? Out? I do. I did have a passion for science and wanted to pursue something in the doctoral field. And when I talked to her, I realized that y'all been going to a chiropractor most of my life, but I never actually thought about, can I be a chiropractor? Yeah. Um, and I had to, had to have a prayer meditation moment and see what have, what have I had done in my life that I would preach to a kid in my same position if I ran into, and ran into that young boy or girl that one day. So I you know, thought about it, prayed about it, talked to my parents about it, and lo and behold, it was at the Life University, and you know, met a whole bunch of people. When I went there, I felt at home because I realized when I talked to, you know, hear a lot of stories of other chiropractors, you know, they were kind of like the the odd ones, the black sheep. They didn't do things the normal, typical way. When I came to Life University, I felt like that was I felt like I was a part of something, and I was we were all had the same mindset. They make people feel better, make people operate at their full function. So yeah. That's what made me want to be a chiropractor. Oh, that's awesome. Those are great stories, guys. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you have how much longer until you graduate? Well, I have about five months left. <laughs> five months. Yes, yes. Wow. Where are you from? I'm from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yes. And that's where you got your start, or did you? Um. Well, I was born. In, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, and I lived there until I was eighteen or seventeen. And yeah, eighteen. And growing up, I I didn't receive um, chiropractic care, so that's why that was something that I didn't really even think about it. Yeah, I didn't even think about. It. I wasn't exposed to that. Um, but. A few months before that, um, that set of that table in our school, um, my mom had actually started chiropractic care, which was crazy because it was like out of nowhere. I was receiving all of these, like, oh no, I think it was a universe yes. telling me yes. something. <laughs> yes, that's wonderful. And she was doing a lot better. Um, and so when I saw the table, I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna know about this. And right after I saw the table and I talked to my sister, I told my mom, like, can, can, I, can I start going to your chiropractor to do it? Because I want to yeah. feel how it feels. Right. And I want to see what is this for yes. me. And, and I liked it a lot. Like, I loved how it made me feel after that first adjustment. And that was, like, my my confirmation, the confirmation I was waiting for, like, yeah, I want, I want to do this. That's when you knew. What about you, Pierce? Uh, I'm a country boy through and through. Uh, cabbage and cornbread fed in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Wow. Um, from a small town called Landrum, way out in the sticks. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's an up and coming town. You know, it's been around for a long time. And I came here, it was a big shock because I have never seen a highway that's more than three lanes or four lanes. Wow. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> like coming into the metro Atlanta area is yeah. pretty incredible yeah. for you. Main, main roads and back roads where I come from with gravel, you know, that's so. Yeah. And so seeing this was a huge, huge uh, mind shift, the incredible amount of diversity, opportunity, and I just love everybody. It's just so welcoming. Wonderful. around here in this area. I'm, I'm so very ready for it. So now with your backgrounds, where are you planning to go after graduation? Um, where would you like to open up your own practice? Open up my own practice, a great question. So ideally, my if you ask my, my oldest nephew, he's waiting for me to come back home to South Carolina. <laughs> um, so, you know, he always thinks he has an automatic job with me. I told him I got to see your resume. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Maybe you have another chiropractor in the family. Uh, hey, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> I don't want to be the only one. That's he right. seems like he has my mindset of being the black sheep. But uh, he, I would like to go back home to South Carolina. But right now, um, I want to make sure, like, you know, I want to learn, grow. And that way, when I go back home, I'm Dr. Cannon. And, you know, I'm still called Little Pierce back home. Yeah. Um, so that's where I know, like, you know, if I learn, I grow, and that way I can become, just become a true master of this field and learn and become near perfect, not perfect. That's, you know, near perfect. That's it. So, yeah, so Wonderful. that's my goal one day. And Carla, where are you going to be? Uh, my plans are going back to Texas with my sister. Well, I'm from Puerto Rico, but um, I would like to go to Texas because, um, I just want to be close to my family, and I want to see my niece and my nephew grow and be able to give them care. Like, I would love to be able to do that. Um, yeah, I'm still not sure where I'm going to open my practice, but um, yeah, it's as soon exciting. as I get there and yeah. explore a little, bo a little bit more the area, um, I'm sure it's going to be a good place for me. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing um, about yourselves, and we look forward to working more with you and introducing you to more of our patients. We're excited to be here. Yes. Thank you so much.